Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of North Brunswick is being brought to you by JAG Physical Therapy. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of South Brunswick is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. It's the Battle of the Brunswicks as the rivalry continues for this week one matchup between South and North Brunswick. Both teams played during week zero with South Brunswick defeating Robbinsville 30-13 and North Brunswick falling to Jackson Memorial 17-7. North Brunswick won this matchup 38-6 in 2023. Let's see who will get the best of the other in 2024. North Brunswick wasted no time getting to the end zone. Senior Naeem Houston exploded for a 75-yard kickoff return touchdown to open up the scoring and put the Raiders on the board first. North Brunswick wanted to get it done early on defense, too, with a fumble recovery by junior Anthony Walker. The Raiders take over on their own 30. South Brunswick evens up the scoring as quarterback Daniel Duffy goes two yards to the touchdown with seven seconds left in the first quarter. Both teams have turnovers on back-to-back -back possessions. South Brunswick's John Drebity Jr. recovers the fumble. Then, South Brunswick's quarterback Daniel Duffy has his pass intercepted by North Brunswick's Sal Famelin for a 20-yard return on the interception. North Brunswick's Jahir Dawood answers with an 11-yard touchdown run. It's 14-7 North Brunswick with 9.02 left in the first quarter. Dawood isn't done yet. He's having himself a day with another touchdown. It's 21-7 North Brunswick. North Brunswick's Tommy Karoma shows off his wheels at the start of the second quarter as he goes for the first down. The Raiders are five yards from a touchdown, Dawood to the end zone going for his third touchdown, but South Brunswick's Dason Botang rips the ball out of Dawood's hands and goes almost the entire length of the field, but is stopped at the three-yard line. 5.23 left in the second quarter, and Duffy gets the touchdown to narrow North Brunswick's lead and make it 21-14. Third and goal, and Julian Williams gets the handoff and finds the seam for an eight-yard Vikings touchdown. It's tied at 21 with just over two left to play before half. Dason Botang has been the defensive anchor for this team all game long. He comes up with a big sack, but he's not done making plays just yet. Second half, Braylon Williams with a 40-yard return to spark South Brunswick for a comeback win. North Brunswick gets the ball back, but South Brunswick's Ronan Kaziba Ora makes up with a crucial interception with less than 50 seconds left in the third quarter. South Brunswick takes the lead after a loose ball in the end zone forces a safety. It's 23-21 Vikings with just over nine minutes left to go. North Brunswick's Zach Saipot recovers a fumble on the kick, but then South Brunswick's Dason Botang recovers the fumble. His first fumble recovery was stopped at the three, but this time he's going all the way and returns it 50 yards for the touchdown. What a play by Botang going 50 yards for the fumble recovery touchdown to put South Brunswick up 30 to 21. Fourth down play for North Brunswick, but South Brunswick's Julian Williams with the timely defensive stop with 619 left in the game. South Brunswick's John Drebity Jr. puts the finishing touches on a stellar defensive performance by the Vikings with one last interception. And South Brunswick defeats North Brunswick for the first time since 2017, and they improve to 2-0 on the season. 30-21 is your final. Uh, it means everything. It means everything. The kids are buying in. Uh, they were resilient, uh, and they stuck together. Uh, we preach family. Uh, we preach having each other's back. But it all starts in practice. The way we practice prepared us for this victory tonight. It means everything. You know, we got a new coaching staff. We got people who believe in us. You know, he told us to believe in ourselves when people don't. And that's all we need today. I'm just so happy right now. You know, this meeting really meant a lot. For my seniors last year, I wanted to get the job done for them. We weren't able to. So this year, we spent all week, all summer. Like, this, we had this game circled in our calendar. We've been working so hard for it. I'm just so happy we won. In North Brunswick, I'm Mackenzie Bruno, JerseySportsZone.com.